Ah, that, that was lovely, Lorna. Well, I was pure ravenous. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I was a bit concerned about serving up a vegetarian dinner. Oh, no, it's all, no, it's all. We love leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we're practically vegetarians for sale, so we are, aren't we, Ralph? Uh, apart from the mutton pies and the bears, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how times change. <laughs> See, when I was young, Taking exercise meant smoking faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, joking apart, food's uh, not really a laughing matter. When the world climates are on the brink of collapse, there's leaves in the trees in the middle of winter, and yet all people care about is like, a few points on the Dow Jones Index. Gash is very passionate about saving the planet. He believes nature's a moral issue. Oh, well, well, he's always uh, been very big in the morals, you know. <laughs> Rav. So, how is my wee Peachy's day and then, son? Oh, uh, that's a touchy subject. I don't like the way her mother's bringing her up. Her new man's a skank. Yeah, well, you should maybe try sending her a wee bit more child support, eh? Watch the peach blossom. <laughs> Leave it, Rav. Oh, who are you to lecture me? Bernie and I never had a family life. Ah, oh, garbage, you had plenty of bloody family life. Fair enough, maybe it was a mansion family, but your mother of you did not mate. Don't listen to him, Lorna. He's just jealous because I've got out and I've done something with my life. And it's his fault Bernie isn't alive today. He's the one that started him on the drink. Gosh, not now, son. Ah, uh, look at him now, turning religious because he's old, he's guilty and he's scared. He's a walking cliché. Pardon anyone? I know exactly what I am. Failure to me is a character test. I sit every day, every, every smackhound, every gyro jake, he knows exactly what they are. They don't have to be told. And I'll tell you furthermore, that's for religion. Religion. I was a drowning man. And when your head's going down for the third time and somebody throws you a lifeline, you don't start quibbling about the quality of the bloody rope. You just grab a hoddy, that's what you do. And you hang on for dear bloody life. Oh, get real, da. My brother was burnt to a crisp in a joyride. Hey, looking back, it was overkill having him cremated. Gash! <laughs> that sweetheart! Yes, Mary Dunn? Did you bring your arse with you? I never leave the house without it, sweetheart. Well, reacquaint it with a leather pronto, will you, David? Lorna Hen. Yes, Mrs Nesbitt? Pudding would be divine. Right. <laughs> 